Okay, we're coming off the back of a fantastic Binding of Isaac run there with Kane. First time playing as him, uh, and we beat Mum's Heart quite easily as well, I might add. So, um, 69. Ha <laughs> ha That's funny. Right, let's do something very difficult. Let's try and beat the game with Judas. This could be a, well, considerable problem, but we're going to be playing as Judas now until we beat the game. So, let's hope we get some good luck here. Yeah, this is a real difficult room to kind of maneuver around. Really? Okay, that will open the chest for us. What have we got? Okay, bombs and money. I'm going to try and play... So we've got the Book of Belial with um, Judas, and we get a damage upgrade straight off the bat. Uh, Blood of the Martyr is something that I'm definitely into uh, straight away. Plus, with, plus the Book of Belial will increase our damage probably about tenfold. Like, well... Okay, by a lot. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna get my laptop so that whenever anything comes up that we don't know what it does, I can tell you. Bear with me one second. Okay, we're back. Sorry, it's probably like two seconds for you, but I've got my laptop next to me, so anything that kind of comes up will be out of notice. So no problems there. We'll be able to tell you what's going on. So still with a single heart, can't really afford to take much damage at all in this run. If at all humanly possible. But I know that's a lot more difficult than it sounds, so please be a good pill. Pretty fly is not bad. I'm going to use a flipping bomb here. Ah, the small rock is a damage upgrade immediately. Wow, okay. So we got a lot of damage, yet we got more damage than we could possibly need. <laughs> and we're going to take the first boss on. Interesting. Two damage upgrades in one floor. Right. Oh, God, this is nasty. Widow is a hot. Look at the amount of damage we're doing. Oh my god. That's insane. That is insane. And we've got a flipping spirit heart as well. Right, the best item we could get here is a relic or a squeezy. A squeezy would be fantastic. Okay, a range up. So we need, we only need one to make this work. Come on, game. It's just so powerful. Ah, oh, bloody... See, it's always look of the draw with those. You can either do really well and get like a, a devil room item, or you can do proper terribly and get two spiders, which are never fun. Um, I would really love a key right now. <laughs> get us in the treasure room. Although the Book of Belial is just so good, such a good item, that it just makes us so much more powerful. Even though, you know, we are probably at the peak of our power. I don't know if it kind of goes on top of what you already are. But I could really do with like a speed upgrade at this point in time. We've got eight coins here. I'm going to use them on this guy, because hopefully he might be able to give me something good. Like a health upgrade. Which these guys have been known to kind of pay out. Okay, we've got a bomb, which isn't exactly the most helpful thing in the world, but... you got two more coins left. You gave me a health upgrade, and I thank you very much. That's exactly what I needed. Hey, we've beaten, we've beaten Mum's heart with two hearts and a lot of spirit hearts. That was a lot of hearts. And you guys are just awful, awful enemies, because you have the worst attack in the world. Give me a key. No keys. I'm not leaving this place without that treasure. I might just use Book of Belial on this boss. Game over and done with quickly. Who knows? I think this is my last recording for this evening before I play whatever I want to play. Duke of Flies. No, I'm not wasting my time on Duke of Flies. I can take him out pretty quickly. With little to no worry at all. <laughs> we are uber powerful right now. It's a complete power run. Basement boy achieved. Nice. I don't know what that is. Is that not taking any damage the first two floors or something? And we get another HP up. <laughs> wow, okay. This is totally weird. And these guys are assholes. So. Yeah, they don't seem to be taking... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got to... Ah, oh, horrible. Horrible, 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 horrible. Well, that's just unfair. That was incredibly close also. So let's see what we got. We've got a pill. Let's use it. Telepills. Taking us up a room. Fantastic, thank you. Up two rooms. Even worse. I'm going to use a bomb here. 
It could be something, it could be Spirit Hearts. It's nice a bomb and a key, but I'll take that. We didn't have any bombs and we didn't have any keys at that point, so... Yep, worthy. For an extra key, it's always worthy. Ah, just the speed of, of uh, Judas is kind of a, an issue for me, but I think I can live with it. I'm going to use another bomb to get to this chest. You never know. Two coins, okay. Not worth it. There's two keys there, which is great. Treasure room! Um, well, we'll pick it up. Forever alone attack fly. It can it can work. We can make it work, guys. Five minutes in, and we're doing pretty well. At least I would think we are. I don't think I've ever got that achievement for not taking any damage on the first two floors. It's kind of made me slightly happy. Especially knowing that I've got work this week. I've got an incredibly busy weekend. Like, you won't believe... What I've got planned and what I'm what I'm going to be up to is an easy room, except for the erratic spiders. Oh, come on, really? Heart that I don't need. Okay, so the boss will be very close by. There he is. Okay. Um, this could be a problem. These flies are always a bit of a pain. The spirit flies, but we can head into the boss room, and we've got the husk. Okay, interesting. Kind of unexpectedly took a hit there, which I, uh, as you can probably tell, wasn't expecting to take. The attack fly, as per usual, does absolutely nothing, as if I took a hit there. Ah, although I'm not really fussed. We have got three hearts, which is just what Isaac's got, so I'm happy as long as it gives us a good item for beating him. And it's a health upgrade, which you cannot shake a stick at. So, going to continue down. Don't have any bombs, don't have any more keys. So, we're just going to continue. We searched every room. It's going to be a really odd run, is this? So, I just you need to stand right in the middle for these guys so they don't hit you. Nothing at the moment. I need a spit for, for the first time, I think, ever. Oh, come on. I need a speed upgrade. Oh, really? I'm glad I didn't get hit again there. More coins? We love money. We love it. Almost got the right amount for the shop, which would be incredibly nice. That's my fault. I should have totally seen that to happen. Now we just need some health. <laughs> Found the treasure room, which is a nice feeling. One left of these, these fellas, the green dudes, and we should be able to go into the treasure room and find something good. Remote detonator, or is that a teleporter? Doctor's remote. Nope, that's absolute crap. Nope, book of a lie, please. You actually refused if you pick up the Book of Belial and don't use it. You're insane. So right now we're on two hearts. And the Book of but the book of Belial is looking really good. But we've got our coins now. So we can find another key. We can definitely head into the shop and perhaps find something that can be a complete game changer. But of course that's completely down to, to luck. And I don't know. We seem to have had good luck with, with everything but like... Well... Damage. I don't even think I want to say I'm upset with the damage that we've got because I'm really not upset. <laughs> it's just such a good turn for the books. Wow. Okay, well, this is a bit of an issue now because we are on one heart. Please give me a heart. You've given me more than enough money, thank you. Okay, well, this actually can change us for the better, this. We can go into the arcade, use our money, you know, build our hearts back up to what it was, and then head on straight over to the boss. So, 26. If we can keep it to 15, we could probably go back and uh, get what we needed. So, you're going to show me a bomb. We get two bombs, which is great, because we had zilch before. Let's see what we can get here. This one? Okay, well, I'm not going to go for the... Uh, the one on the right this time, I'm going to go for the one on the left. Pick up another coin. And it's a fly, which is great. Dislike the flies. 
as you probably know from I think one of the episodes that I had. That's a key which I could really use right now. Nope. Okay. A pill. It's not too bad. Please be good. Tears down. Not exactly the most helpful thing in the world. Two bombs is really good. Uh, I could really just do the key, guys. You're not going to give me a key. Nope. Really not going to give me a key at all. Or at least some hearts. I'm just going to have to use all of it. Really, all my money to get what I needed. Okay, go for the middle. The middle is probably king. Oh, that's that's nice. Really? <sighs> kind of losing all of our money here, guys. <laughs> Too... <sighs> I kind of feel that this game is taking me to the cleaners a little bit. <laughs> Really struggling to see the uh, the success here. Every single one's been a fly. I just say. <laughs> We've got nothing from this guy yet. Two keys! <gasps> At the time where I don't need keys and have no more money. Thanks, mate. I'm looking for hearts now. And I don't think that's going to happen, but we have enough bombs to blow up everything here to get our hearts that we need, so... Right, well, first of all, you're going. I'm going to pop a bomb there. Good night. Pick up a load of money. Mr. Mega has appeared in the basement. I think that's killing a certain amount of, like, ten in, of the NPCs that are in the game. You can use five coins on this here machine. Oh, well, that's quite nice. It's all about working with the arcade to, to kind of go against itself. So... You know, it can work. It can sometimes, you know, fall flat on, it, flat on its face. It doesn't seem to be bringing up any hearts, this machine. Just one heart would be incredibly helpful for me. Not another coin. It doesn't, you know. I don't mind it, but I'd really prefer a heart. Give me the heart. Oh, we're out of hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, we'll blow that up. A spirit heart will do just nicely. And I'm also going to blow this up. I almost gave it some health, which I didn't want it to do. Ah, uh, half a heart. Right, okay, well, not fantastic, but let's go take the boss on and use the Book of Belial. Okay, pestilence, bit of pain in the ass enemy. Just because of the stupid bloody attack that it's got. But, as per usual, we are doing a crazy amount of damage to this enemy. And I'm kind of okay with this. I feel like every enemy that we're going to come up against is just going to be taken out so quickly with the damage upgrade that we have that it's not even going to be an issue. So we've got two spirit hearts by the time we go down here, which I'm totally fine with. I probably should have gone and had a look around a bit further, but it's almost like speedrun territory. Okay, these guys are up here. Even with improved health, these guys are an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Oh, these guys are horrible and always will be. Oh, well, that's that's interesting. <laughs> that guy can shut his eyes. See that? We broke one of their bodies down and then the other one we, uh, we killed the head, which was interesting. Okay, this is a bit of a difficult room because you have to... Well, that was incredibly good for me. Uh, I would say that was Luckmon's skill, if I'm honest. And I think I got saved by my meat boy there as well, so. <laughs> Pick up those. Head on this way. We're probably going to get to the boss here. This looks like the boss trail. Just because of the sheer amount of people. Uh, enemies, I, I mean. That are here. Let's take these uh, out one at a time. We get half a heart, which I will be willing to wait for. Love how I've got my Mac set up next to me. And nothing's come up yet. <laughs> no, no item that we haven't seen before has come up. Oh, Bob, I fly. You guys. Kill the poop. Kill the guy with the fly. And do the same up here. Shouldn't be much of an issue now. Is it mum now? It's mum. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, yeah, we're going to go and look for the treasure room. We've got enough keys, so we might as well, you know, prolong it. Although we probably could beat Mum right now with what we've got. 
like I always say, it's kind of luck of the draw with Isaac, and you just got to accept it, you know. Uh, not a bad room, if you know how to deal with it. Which luckily I do, and we should be fine. And we get full health, which I could have stuck with entirely. I think this is where I use one of the bombs that I have to kind of weaken a few of them. Because I don't really want to be taking them all on at the same time. They just kind of get boring, this enemy. Especially when there's loads of them. Mum's Pearl. I'll pick it up because I don't have any trinkets. You know what? While we're here, Mum's Pearl. Mum's... Okay, it's not there. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Trinkets. I'm going to find it for us. Bear with me a second. Okay. Find Mum's... Really? Pearl? Mum's Pearl. Increases the chance of any non-specific heart drop turning into a soul heart by 10%. So, any hearts that now drop will have a 10% increased chance of becoming a spirit heart. So, not bad. Not a bad one to have, really. Oh, Jesus. This is nasty. What a nasty room this is. With the current setup that we've got and everything, really? You're going to play this game? I feel like just leaving. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I get away with this? God damn it. Well, he's in the way. Oh, that was a complete waste of all the spirit hearts that I just created. I'm not going through there. That room's terrible. Not enough space to, to maneuver myself around. Sometimes it's... A sign of bravery to know when you have to, to kind of give up and surrender. And I, that's my excuse. <laughs> so let's take on... Oh, it's Loki. Okay, so we're not on one yet. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's use the Book of Belial on Loki. Just because he's an arsehole. You know, it's getting to the point where I, I can't eat and I cannot sleep. <laughs> no, I can't really. I'm not like annoying. It's just a bit one of those frustrating enemies. Oh, we got a health upgrade, which is fantastic. And a possible spirit heart. And a tears up, which is really good. Using of our keys here. Mum's lipstick, which I think we've ever got, is range up. Look at the Book of Belial, what it does to you. It makes you a monster. And that should recharge fairly quickly as we go through to fight Mum. Because I don't think we've beaten Mum. I, I get lost. No, I get lost in the the time that we spend playing this game is a lot. I play a lot of this game, so I'm I'm okay with that. There's no problem. Although I would like to find something. The hermit, yes, let's use it. Takes lots of greed. Luckily, I don't have a lot to give greed, so if he takes it away from me, I ain't too fussed. But he gives me a steam sail, which I think we can use for one more floor. So. And we get the red patch, which I like. The red patch. Let me find it. Just so we know for definite. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Patch. Increases damage upon taking a hit. There's 20% increase. Isaac loses his skin for the duration of the room. If Isaac has flight, lose body. As well. Okay, well. I like that more. So we'll pick up the steam sail. And head all the way back this way, which is slightly frustrating place to be. Whoa, this room's horrible. How is that fair? Seriously, how is this room fair whatsoever? <laughs> Book of Belial has recharged, which is always pleasant. We've got no bombs to take these guys out, so all we've got to do is pretty much just spam them with our tears, as per any other enemy, but kind of maneuver yourself around them. So I'm wondering. What are you guys doing this weekend? Are you doing anything interesting? Is there anything going on that you want to tell me about? Because this will probably... Go well, I say this weekend. This is probably... I'm recording this on the Friday. Or the, the Thursday. So this is probably going to go up like Monday, Tuesday. Perhaps. I don't know. I don't know when. I'd like to know when. There's the red patch. Making me angry. You're making me angry. I like the red patch, it's a really good item. Like, I just, I, I, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's the fact that it makes you angry and the fact that we are so damn powerful right now. To be even more powerful is just a really cool thing. 
Um, the child's hat, I'll pick up. The child's hat does... Uh, increases the chance of receiving hearts from drops, which not really that fussed about. I should be okay heart-wise. Nothing in there, so the boss has to be all the way up. So, unless he's at the back. That's kind of frustrating. I don't know where the boss is. I hate that feeling when you're just totally lost. You have no idea where anybody is. Ah, oh, horrible enemies. Like, they corner you and then that's it. You just game over. However, we killed these guys pretty quickly. While I was in the States, I had some hooters. If you ever had hooters, hooters, I should say. Um, which is run by very, very lovely women. The witch is a very, very attractive woman. And um, I, I like the food. That's my excuse. So don't. Oh, fuck's sake. I hate the zombies. I hate them. Because they're a pain. And nobody likes the zombies. Oh, really? Really? Re really? They just chase you. There's not enough room to kill them. I'm going to call my mum on them in a minute. The attack fly could do some serious damage to this guy. I can't tell if any of these are doing any damage to it, but it apparently did, so please be good. Health up is always good in my books. Especially when you've got a Judas run, and now we have a load of damage, and we have a load of health, and we've got the Book of Belial. If we can find some heart pickups, we are completely laughing, guys. This is like the best thing we could have ever hoped for. We've got a nickel. A crazy, crazy, crazy run that just has, has come up trumps. The only thing I haven't got is like a speed up. I would really like some speed. Not the drug, don't worry, I'm not that kind of... Whoa! Not a fan of how quick those guys are and I'm so slow. Where the hell is the boss? If you tell me he's over here, i him off. This guy's kind of kind of easy now. And another nickel, wow. Two nickels on the same floor. Kind of weird. But we got the treasure room. <laughs> So something that I wanted to kind of do really quickly and try and speed run it with Judas, which is incredibly rare for most Isaac players in normal life. I'm going to go through and see what's in the treasure room. Ten bombs, I will attack that and be very happy with it. <laughs> so that means we can actually look for the secret room. We could pick up an extra key here. Why would we not? I'd prefer to have... A good amount of keys and a good amount of bombs rather than one more than the other. But we can have a look now for the secret room. Please be here. You would have made my life incredibly easy, but you decided to to say no, not today. Not today. Uh, please be here. Yes, thank you. Even more money, which we cannot use. Thanks. Thanks, game. Appreciate that. Can I have some hearts, please? I could really do with some health. Got plenty of heart containers. Oh, see, we could have got that, and that would have increased our chances of getting hearts dropped. Mm. Little game that it plays. Maybe this is the, the challenge that I have to just defeat him with two hearts, which... Nine impossible. Just putting it out there. Whoa, that was close. Please give me a heart. A penny, okay. Book of Belial time is happening. We're on mode. Yeah. We're going to use a bomb over here and hopefully get something good. Ow. That's a spirit heart. I'll pick that up. <laughs> so now we are pretty much doing more damage than we've ever done in our entire lives to mum. With one tier. Have you seen this? Look at this. This craziness. There, is it near? Is there a lot of enemies being spawned here? I don't know if it's me. It probably is. I'm just worrier. God, we are we are kicking ass. I kind of don't get worried with with Mum anymore. Like she's just another boss, and she's definitely not one of the harder bosses in the game. And we unlock the next character, Samson. So the next one's going to be a Samson run. 
We're doing incredibly well. A box is one of pretty much everything. Judgment. Um, we could get the flat penny, not that we need it. Health up again. Wow, that's incredible. We were just doing so much damage. Um, there's nothing else to look for on this floor, so let's head on down. Two more bosses. I'm going to use Judgment Card. Oh, it gives him. That's actually kind of good. You could give me some good stuff. You can also give me a, a health up. Which I will be incredibly happy with if you do this. I don't even mind how many you take off me. Okay, mum's mum's purse. So we get two trinkets on the go now. Which is nice. It's nice to know we can do if we wanted to. Just got to manoeuvre ourselves around this area. It can be slightly problematic. But we seem to be doing okay. Pick up another card. The hangman. That gives us flight for one room. And this room could be a good shot to use that fly, to be honest. Oh, really? You spawn in front of me? You really want to play that game? You guys are uh, incredibly annoying. You spawn in front of me and expect me not to take a hit? It's unbelievable. Right, one brain left. There was no real reason to be here. Let me pick up a bomb. The Book of Belial is recharged. If we can keep ourselves to ourselves, we should get out of this alive, guys. And you've dropped us some more money. Oh, whether or not this guy is... God, he's a big, isn't he? He's a huge tower guy. Oh, uh, we've got a full heart there. So many hearts to fill. Like, oh, the screaming angels are just horrible. Mainly for the noise that they make. Like, oh, well, this is a serious problem. Using the Belial. I can't kill them. I can't kill them. I'm going to die. To, to screaming angels. Are you serious? I had to use the Book of Belial as well. I can't believe it. Oh, wow. This is an incredibly difficult room. With no speed. Really? You're going to do this to me? I can't, I can't play this. Are you crazy? One at a time, I think, is the way that this should go. Okay, 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 okay. Chill, chill, chill. Two of these guys now, really? Unbelievable. Got killed by a bloody Gemini. That was a really good run with Judas, I've got to admit. What were we, nearly half an hour? Let's try Samson. I did say that if we get him, we have to try him in the next run. So let's try Samson. We've played him before on the 30, uh, the 30 episodes, but so the bloody lust, the rage comes with the amount of people that he kills on each floor. Dead Sea Scrolls is a really good item, actually. Changes your tiers, uh, I think, in each each room and kind of respawns, uh, recharges quite quickly. So let's head on through. What are we on now? Um, blow that up. Use it to our advantage. He's got very quick tears as Samson. That's something that I've noticed straight off the bat. And that's quite nice. Uh, refreshing. Oh, crap. Should have done that. <laughs> I shouldn't have done this. But hey. Once we start killing stuff, Samson just gets more and more powerful as time goes on. And then ends up being incredibly strong. Indeed. So hopefully if we get like the Duke of Flies, we'll, it'll only take us a short amount of time to actually kill him. I'm going to use the Dead Sea Scrolls in here. Okay, the Widow. Actually not a bad item. Kamikaze? Are you serious? That's terrible. We're going to die straight away. And if we die straight away... Yep. Killed by a spider. Can you believe it? Right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We will try another Judas run uh, next time I play this game, which will most likely be couple of days time so thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time